Madam Speaker, I commend this bill to the House. I call Pamji Palmer. I understand this is a split call. We have five minutes. Thank you, uh, Madam Speaker. I'm taking this call to support this bill. So it's a pleasure to take this call to support Crown Minerals Amendment Bill in its first reading. But I have to say that the pleasure is just this much, really small. And I'll get into that, uh, Madam Speaker, a bit later. But I would like to first respond to a couple of comments that came from uh, members um, from the government side. We heard about certainty, and we also heard that the, this government likes to act. And yes, we have seen that they like to act to get rid of jobs. We also got lectured by a member on the other side that our contributions are shorter. Madam Speaker, what we are worried about is the government not able to bring any proper legislation before the House. So what we have seen in the first six months, they were just bringing previous government, that is national government's legislations before the House, and now we have this legislation which is just tidying up bits and pieces in the Crown Minerals Act. And yes, this, this tidying up is required, and that's why we are supporting this bill, because with the changing uh, commercial realities, we have to make sure that this bill is effective and is efficient, uh, the permit regulation is maintained in an effective manner. And that's why we heard that this bill actually clarifies various things. This bill clarifies permit classification, this bill clarifies the extension of duration, how that process is uh, looked at, this bill also uh, clarifies the process of revocation, this bill also clarifies access to Schedule 4 land. So yes, there are a lot of clarifications, and these clarifications are required to reflect uh, current commercial realities, and that's why we are supporting this bill. And yes, uh, more ministerial oversight, we support that too. But Madam Speaker, what I have to say is that it's really important that the government keeps in mind that the stakeholder consultation is important, and as this bill will be going to the select committee process, and I really hope that they will take into consideration the feedback that will be received from stakeholders during the select committee process. So, Madam Speaker, I support this bill. Thank you. Speaker. I call Angie warren Clark. Thank you, Madam Speaker. Um, I'm pleased to take a call on the uh, Crown uh, Minerals Amendment Bill.